I never thought we'd be rebels. You never know what life will throw at you. Seriously. Maybe I'll call myself Lazy Kyoka. Nice. Then we can call it Lazy. I finally found you. Karin! Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh? <gasps> you two have known each other that long? Well, you know, I... so what are you all going to do? I... I planned to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn, to be honest, you really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron too. We'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well. I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Seiron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. suited for wet work, and I never thought you'd actually use it that way. Well, what can I say? If 
the shoe fits. You killed Yuito's father. How can you joke about it? Because I'm a bastard, and bastards do bastardly things. This is wonderful! I guess I should talk to Kagero. Shiden? What are you doing? Kasane! I I'm not doing anything! If you're trying to hide it, why don't you go somewhere people can't see? It's hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll. What? How long have you been watching? A while. What's the point of this? I don't need to be bossed around by you! This is just small talk. We're teammates. Don't teammates talk like this? Small talk? Okay, fine. This is called Baki. I know that. Naomi liked it too. My parents pushed it on me because it's popular. It's completely not my taste. Then why do you have it? It's your fault. Huh? Because I lost you one-on-one. -on -one. My parents are trying to cheer me up. You told your family you lost? Of course not! When I didn't reply for a while, they probably figured out what happened. They've been messaging me non-stop ever since. They even sent me this doll. They probably think I like it. But that's just added pressure. That's why I don't want to reply. And just looking at the message notifications ticks me... So you were taking it out on the doll? Yeah. You got a problem with that? I think that's better than taking it out on the people around you. Oh. So you weren't making fun of me? Ugh. What was that sound? How are you doing? We haven't heard from you, so we've been worried. Your mother and father are always on your side. Your mother knows just how strong you are, little Shiden. Do your best and don't lose. I can't wait to hear from you. See you soon. Did you see that? 
I'm sorry, but I did. She's a good mom. <laughs> These are the types of messages she keeps sending me. I'm a grown man now, but she keeps treating me like a kid. You actually messaged through the terminal? They pushed it on me. I mean, we can directly receive transmissions through the brain, but they want to go through all this trouble. I don't understand why you're so resistant. You don't like being encouraged by your family? I'm grateful, but sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's some things you just can't accomplish no matter how much they expect you to. So when they keep telling me to do my best, it feels like they're blaming my inadequacy. You're so immature. What did you say? Ever since I was adopted into the Randall family, I've never received a single word of encouragement from my parents. I don't mean to compare our lives, and I can't say who's better off. But from where I stand, you're loved and truly blessed. I would even say I'm jealous. I'm sorry for saying all those things without thinking about your situation. Still, my family's encouragement stresses me out. My parents will praise me no matter how spectacularly I fail. That's no way to measure my abilities. I need to be acknowledged by an objective third party if I'm going to improve. You're not satisfied being loved by your family? I don't understand why you work so hard just to be acknowledged. Of course you don't. You're the one who won, so I'm just inferior. I trained so hard for years, and it resulted in a pathetic loss to a rookie. I know you must be laughing at me behind my back. I'm not. I just don't understand why you need the approval of others. If you explain it to me, I'll try my best to understand. You want to understand? That's what I'm telling you. Huh. I'm busy. I'm not obligated to explain anything to you. He has a lot on his mind. I'll need to talk to him more if I'm going to understand him. I had no idea communicating with people was so hard. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. I feel like I've learned a little more about you. However annoying that may be. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. Kasane, perfect. Can you get me a soda from the refrigerator? Sure, but I think it would be faster if you got it yourself. I need my calories. Burning those calories with my power would be putting the cart before the horse. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. I don't know when, though. I think understanding you better will make our battles more efficient. Well, then I guess we both need to understand each other. Have a good eye. Yo, Kasane, coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. 
Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on! What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been? Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes. I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just, I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. I've got to maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although I could be reading into it too much. Really? Thanks! Thank you for coming today. 
There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid, pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid. And you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not. But people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. Kasane, how are you? I'm fine. You look all right, too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not all right. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate, too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey! Don't insult me! I would never betray him! Uh... I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. 
What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. I think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is an other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka! Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes. I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So Huff really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck. Ugh. Looks like first platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Garin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <sighs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. 
I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seiron for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. This must be the area around Kunat Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. Whoa there. I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up. I know, it just slipped out. Everything all right? No, it's nothing. Sheedan just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just, just a little freaked out. It seems small. The Kunad gate we saw in the future was much bigger. Probably just needs time. So this is going to expand and destroy the world. <sighs> well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate, and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Seiron. Your duties won't be any different from before. That's fine, but how is Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Seiron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. I'm not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. We shouldn't tell Karin we went to the future. We can't trust him. You were right to share information with me. As I expected, someone almost screwed it up. I already apologized for that! Let it go already! Is it me, or are we hanging out a lot? I have to finish this mission fast and ask Karin about Naomi. Hang on, Naomi. How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder what would happen if you get sucked inside. Oh, I know. Hey, Sheedan, stick your finger inside it. Stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but don't go near the gate even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Yuito is right. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Should I tell Karin that Yuito is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, 
Yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunod Gate. No. This is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming. He's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it, Yuito had aged, but Karin looked exactly the same. Did he just not age, or could it be... something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. What do you know, Karin? If you know how to cure metamorphosis, then you can save Naomi. Seiron has labs that are conducting research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Where is the lab? I can't tell you. It's highly classified research and only authorized personnel are allowed in the facility. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on the probe. We're ready to leave. Understood. And with that, your mission comes to a close. Feel free to do whatever you want until I contact you again. Wait, Karin! Arashi, why did you stop me? You lose all perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher-ups' consent, then at least pretend that you're an obedient soldier. You're going to help me look for Naomi? Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after all. Besides, I am concerned about Naomi. The other research sounds interesting as well. Okay. I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should stop by the hideout. Let's go. I see. So that's what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi, how could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. Better than saying it behind your back. Don't forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway, were you really planning on investigating this secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. We can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. I looked into this lab, and it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay, then let's go now. Whoa there, wait a sec. You sure then? We're coming with you. That's fine with me. Besides, 
Based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Seiron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Haruka. I've prepared a relatively safe route using the information Arashi provided. Thank you. I'll leave the navigation to you. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious than this. He might even think it was on purpose. Sorry guys, I can't access the internal data from here. Don't worry, I've got this. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 